I'd like to show you how a drone can be used to gather information on a project development using a Sovereign Hills project in Port Macquarie as an example. You can see there at the start where there's the general um, development site with the street view and this here is actually showing the view of the site as of uh, just last weekend um, in relation to the project that work that's actually already been done on. Now this map mission here we flew the drone over at 250 feet um, and we just did a grid pattern so you can actually see what uh, information is there. Now you can see here in the drop down box is different information that you can develop as far as different types of maps. Um, this one here is an elevation toolbox which basically shows you the elevation of the, um, of the ground levels and you can see everything is all color coded in relation to the different heights and whatnot. Um, this can be used in a, in a way to actually measure specific areas um, and uh, to use it for example there's a couple of big mounds of dirt um, here in the back of the area and I'll show you here how you can simply uh, measure that up using this, um, this application here. Uh, we go back into the elevation toolbox and we'll select and you can see the different elevation of the actual drones right there, or sorry, of the mounds of dirt there. And what I'll do is I'll take and I'll bring this down and I will um, specify the area surrounding the actual mound. Now essentially this needs to be done on a, basically on a, uh, on a flat surface area surrounding the mound. And this, as you can see, as it's tracking, gives you the, uh, the, the meters um, of the actual track. But this will give you a cubic meter um, uh, development as far as how much uh, is actually in there, as far as the volume of that dirt. And you can see there with that, there's you know, 2,500 cubic meters of, uh, of dirt on that. And with that um, on the plan, I can actually put an annotation there as well in relation to exactly the, the amount of dirt. Um, that's there to be used for future future processing. Well, going from that, you can see the we can move the map around to get different types of field field view perspectives. Uh, here, for using as a survey area, um, you can use once again your elevation. This is a basic elevation toolbox here to give a general reading of the slope of the actual that plot of land. Um, this can be used in conjunction with a surveyor, um, but uh, as far as a general information in relation to the sloping of the ground, um, you can actually allocate um, specifically what the, what the slope is doing, where it's going, and you can actually finite that quite considerably using the, um, using the graph bar there, as you can see as we're moving it across to give you different shades of color to indicate the actual sloping ground for the terrain. Now a good thing that you can do on these maps is the 3D modeling. The 3D modeling is quite amazing because what it does, it takes your your two-dimensional model and it allows you to actually map that as a as a 3D uh, model perspective. So you can actually lay it down uh, at different uh, at different angles, you can flatten it out, you can wrap it around, you can hone in on a specific area, but you can really get a good indication of, of exactly what's happening on your on your building site in relation to um, different heights, um, how things are actually building. Um, if you have different things that are going to be interfering with other uh, with other building developments on the one site, um, all these different things you can really see uh, utilizing the 3D modeling. show you some of the clarity that you can see too. Now remember this was generated from 250 feet above ground level um, using about 250 still uh, images taken um, throughout the grid pattern. Uh, and from that obviously with the overlap yeah, I get a quite a bit of information in relation to, to, to the whole of the site. But you can see as I spin around and, and work through the whole site and the different angles here um, really the, the very very clear indication of, uh, of everything from your elevations of your um, of your little mounds of dirt to your um, areas that are recessed in relation to your ponds to your little playing fields, um, the existing houses that have been de developed uh, in quite a bit. Um, so you can really see the information is quite substantial in relation to the 3D modeling. Now, using a different building development site, I just wanted to show you that how you can actually track the progress of the build. Um, this is another building site um, locally in town where you can see that it's showing the uh, cleared area first 
and then after about a month's time the actual cleared development site. Now this is a tracking progress you can do from a weekly basis um, to basically show the progress of your works um, uh, in, in relation to uh, how much work is being done. And once again if you utilize in the uh, elevation toolbox and the measurement um, scale to actually get your cubic measurements. You can still um, do the same thing in relation to the other pile of sand. If you dump a, dump a block or any building materials on site, you can again uh, set out your elevation toolbox and measure that around that area to see exactly how much building material you have on site uh, that you need for landfill uh, or whatever. Um, as you can see also going with the 3D perspective, you can do the same type of thing and you can do this at different times um, throughout the actual project development. So every time you actually take a, a shooter and fly a mission over the top of the um, project site, uh, you can render a different uh, 3D plan so you can actually see how the progress is uh, developing. So if you have any questions at all, uh, we'd like to organize uh, us to come by and, and do a flight and do a mission and record information. Um, just let us know what it is that you're after. Um, give us a call. Uh, I'm Randy, digitalgoneurges.com and uh, we can help you sort something out to, to make your project uh, that much more efficient.